Generations. Hello everyone, the Pokemon fan that tonight we're here back with something that's not Pokemon for the first time in God knows how long. So, today we're going to be using my PS1 emulator that I got, and we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid, the original. The reason I want to do this is I want to get, kind of get away from the RPG just a little bit. And considering how much I love this game as a child, child and the fact that I think I can run all I can play all five games kind of in a row it's gonna replace the new Pokemon snap so I'm going to let this intro run so you guys can kind of understand what's gonna be going on through the game Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstead, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. Stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Okay, so that's the basic plot of the, of the game. However, I'm going to be taking one step further and going to go for the briefing, too. Now, I'm going to say I did this before, where I've recorded, but the problem with that is, is I did not calibrate my audio right, and now you guys should be able to hear pretty quick. Back then, you could, it was like a squeaky with the speaker, my speakers at max. So, I actually hit the wrong button here. The thing about Mug Your Salad is this. The circle and the X button on a, on a PlayStation controller are swapped, which always throws me off. I mean, I'm not going to lie and say that. I don't expect it. So we're going to go to briefing. And once again, I'm going to leave you with these two uh, briefing while I go, while I shut my mouth. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. 
Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. The Iditarod? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake. But this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. But anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural-born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us and be a soldier again? You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. Alright, I believe that's it for the briefings. Now we're actually hitting the actual game itself. So, the first part you saw was actually the beginning. That happened here. I'm going to... I usually play on easy. I have not tried hard. However, the radar is off, and that's a very important thing. I don't remember the enemy's use of anything, so we're going to go for normal. I'll only be shutting myself off during very important... Things. Yes, I'm not wearing my glasses because my glasses have a smudge on them. And it's driving me freaking crazy. So, we'll try to watch this while uh, I'm doing that. So... That's gonna have to do for a while. I'm 
going to bring out today is the 11th of June. I'm not doing a uh, stream today because of uh, the heat. It is very bad here, but the next three or four days it should be lower in heat, so I should be able to do my, my uh, hour thing. That guy right there is the leader, which they call the Snake. I'm going to do my best not to spoil any of the story because I have played this before many times. Also, story spans for all four, all five games, so you got to pay attention to some of the stuff they tell you. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right. So this is the part where I normally tell you that um, I have to get into controls, but after doing that, uh, after I screwed up the first time, I was about three minutes in, and I remembered how to do everything. So um, you see the bar beneath me. That's the old bar. Once my old bar runs out, I start taking damage to my life. Ration just because will allow me to well I'll just read it. Ration for swords by press the circle while the menu button is open. You can also hold you can also have it like this and it'll heal you when you lose all of your health. What else I got here is cigarettes, solid stick flavor, brand, smoking tethers for your health. Magnifying scope, magnifying scope, press circle to zoom in, X zoom out. Not very useful in this game in my opinion, but you can spot certain things with it. And then I have no weapons. So my objective here is to go to the back room and wait for the uh, elevator to show up. There are two enemies on this floor. I have to be very careful because if you see this right here, you're going to see that the floor is wet. Um, enemies in this game react to sound and what they see. So if I was to step across the water where they were close, they would hear that and they would investigate. On top of that, the water would leave footprints for a small amount of time, which would lead directly to where I'm at. Needless to say, I can't let that happen. This is a stealth game. So. I'm going to show you what I normally do here in a second. I just got to make sure I don't pop either of you guys. Where's this, guy? Where's this guy going? This guy's coming this way. I got to get out of the way. I think he comes down here, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And the other guy goes back the other way, all right. There's another puddle there. So right here is another rash. I can hold this right back but I usually just kind of stay here and keep an eye on the radar until the elevator arrives. Of course, I know there's no way to speed this up either. This is just, I think this is mainly just so we can get the credits out of the way, because you see the credits come popping up on the screen, the um, opening credits, so. I thought it was kind of cool they did that, how they integrated it into the game. Yokochima. I think right around now the elevator's gonna come down. Or I could be wrong. So I have bird version view, I have the punch button, the crouch slash crawl button, and then the square button would be to with choke enemy from behind. R1 and L1 allow me to uh I can use L2 to select items, R2 to select weapons, and then I can click well, I can click um L1 to unequip whatever I have, and then the R1 for my weapons. Alright, here's the uh, elevator. Now, a lot of people just run right for the elevator. The edgy guy on board the elevator can be very careful. And this guy here won't come any further than that, I know that, because I've died multiple times when I first played this, and something can just don't forget. Something can forget. Don't forget, I mean. So, the edgy can do this. You can actually just go right behind this guy. He doesn't notice. You think you notice the freaking sirens going on, or the guy going up in the elevator, apparently.
So, fun fact about Metal Gear Solid. There's actually two games that were before this. Um, they are both extremely hard games from what I heard. Probably more than what I can handle, so that's why I decided to start with this one. Um, this is called Metal Gear Solid. Um, it's called Metal Gear Solid because, uh... Well, um, Metal Gear is the enemy that's a common theme in all the games. And Solid, in this situation, means that it's like from 2D, which would have went before to 3D, so then for Solid for the, um... Probably got to use for the game. By the way, I am playing an emulator, so this might lag a little bit in certain sections, but so far it hasn't been too bad. Mother Saw 1 is for the PS1, Mother Saw 2 and 3 is for the PS2. Um, and then Mother Saw 4 is for PS3, Mother Saw 5 is for PS4. There have been ports, um, I believe Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, and 4 are, can be, um, obtained by a disc. I haven't got one yet, but it allows you to play all, all three of them plus four on the PS3. I'm kind of hoping when they make it the PS5, they're gonna let, let, let you play 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to get as much as set for I'd love to play the hell out of that. I love these games. All right, there's a big part up. A cutscene coming up, so I'm going to show you. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake. 
Nick, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Alright, so there's the base of it, so, um, when I first played this game, I, uh, took, went toward that vent, and, uh, I realized very quickly that that was not going to happen. So first what we're going to do is we're going to come around to this side of the heliport, where the airplane lands, and we're going to wait for just a moment right now. We're going to run across here, grab this, and barely avoid the lights. Whew, I always get hit with that. Now, you can see on my radar... The red one with the yellow cone means it's a security camera, meaning if they catch you, you immediately get in a work phase. Um, I'll explain work phase and everything later if they ever come up. So this is chaffed, seals electronics. I could use this to temporarily knock out that camera, but it also knocks out my radar. So we're going to come in here and we're going to grab the stun grenades. Whether I'm going to need them at all is hard to say, but I'm going to show you why this is going to be this is so hard to get this part right here because. You got a sleeping guard there and you got a security camera sitting there. Meaning that getting through that way is almost impossible. At least from my experience it is. So we're gonna re-equip our cha chaff. Now I'm gonna make sure I have everything set up here. Okay. We're gonna head into this uh, truck here. And behind here is our first weapon, which is the SOCOM. SOCOM pistol, semi-automatic pistol. Hold down square to aim, release to fire. Now, normally I would kill the guards, but the socket doesn't have suppressor being if I fire it, everyone around is going to hear it. So, I'm going to re equip my chapter grenade because there's another camera right here. I'm going to use the chapter grenade. And as soon as it pops, I'm going to go, I'm going to use the security, get past security camera. I could just run under it, but that's a big risk. Now, we're going to stop right here for, the, for a moment until the jamming stops. Because there's a guard up on the floor above me, and I have no idea where he is. Okay. I see him, I think, on the map. Yeah, there he is. So, he basically patrols up here. He comes just around to the top of the stairs. Then he turns around and continues patrolling. So, nothing too bad there. He never comes down the stairs, so I'm fine here. Now, um, this is a, a kind of a... This was, the game was made in 98, so there's a bunch of stuff that can go wrong. For example, um, I told you earlier I could choke out people. Well, um, if it happens, uh, as far as I can remember, you immediately get an alert phase, which is not worth the... The headache, because they will all everyone will start attacking you with God knows how many numbers. So 
Right now I'm just trying to wait for this guy to go a little bit further. Okay. We're gonna get Kodak call here. He's gonna tell us that there's a way to get it. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. So this event takes a bit what we're set up to get to, but it's actually a lot safer than using the bottom of it. Okay, so we're gonna crawl through the vent. My radar is not working because we're in a close space. I'm gonna get a call from someone here. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. And we're going to keep crawling through the vat until we get to where I'm supposed to be. There'll be one more s small cutscene that alters depending if you've been seen uh, up to this point or not, and I have not, so that part of the cutscene will not take place, which actually makes the game slightly shorter. And then uh, sooner or later we're going to go through another vat, and you can actually use that vat to skip a good portion of this game through a glitch. I will not be doing that because I'm going to quit the whole game. Huh? I moved the dark chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Okay, that's the end of that small cutscene. This game is loaded with them, so there's gonna be a lot of time for them. gonna be my mouth shut so you guys can actually understand what's going on. See, I understand, like I've seen streamers do this before. It doesn't really apply to me because I'm doing a video not screen, but a lot of people will... <sighs> I'm trying to think of a good way to put this. They'll try to read donations and everything in the middle of the stream and they'll miss crucial parts of the game. Or they'll be talking something that no one will pay attention to the game itself and they'll miss the crucial parts and then it just kind of gets into a whole cluster. I'd rather read donations or whatever during while there is nothing going on currently in the game. Like, if I'm doing this, that's when I read donations because nothing else is going on. Ready for the most useful piece of advice in this entire game? Press the action button to drop down. Best piece of advice in the game. That's a ration over there. I have two of them, so they can't carry anymore, so I'm just going to get down. And so they get down here, I'm going to make an immediate left because there's a scary camera to the right. I don't know if you can see me from where I get off the the um, ladder, but I always go to the left anyway. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna accept the call. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Now this is interesting because after playing this for so long, I if I throw a chapter in here, I can throw this security camera off right here, and then down the hall from it there is another security camera that can grab something, and if I do it quick, I can do it all with one chapter in that come down here, come through here, there is an item here that I want, I'm going to grab it, and we're going to immediately make a left and try to get the hell out of here. Okay, I made it past it, there's, I got past both security cameras. Now this is a very helpful one, thermal goggles, thermal imaging system for south use. Now I can see my heat signature and anyone else's, which is useful for um, long range battles or battles where it's hard to see, so it's not as good as night, but I consider the thermal goggles to be the better goggles in the entire game. So, um, I have a couple options coming up here. 
I mean, there. I'll show you. You see in the uh, north corner of the thing, you're gonna see there's a cam security camera there. Now, I originally thought that the only way to get past this is to have one trap grenade, at least one trap grenade. But if you actually do this just right, you can actually get past without it seeing. So right underneath every camera, there's a certain blind spot. You have to be very careful when you do this because if it sees you, it's over. But if you do this just right, you get away the security camera and basically hit going all the way to the right, and then you do this. You can sneak right by it. I gotta be careful here because there's a guard right there. I think I'm laying down, he can't see me. Good. And then I believe he turns around and goes the other way so I can do this. And I can access the elevator that is right here. Action button will open up the elevator for me. Hitting it twice in this game will actually make it up here and uh, get you immediately. So we're gonna go to the base the first floor of the first floor. Quick call from Mei Wing. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Now I thought when I originally played this game, you see how I'm a dot, and that's kind of like a freaking little like a electronic chisel thing. I figured there was something wrong when that happened, like it like the nails were malfunctioning or something in the guy's body. Now this right here is a security door. Later you can equip a item that will equip the security door up to like if I get a level three security guard, I can you access any door that's between three and three and below. So um. This vent right here, if you use it just right there, that is right there, I can't pick it up because I have my full. But if you use it just right, you can actually skip about three-fourths away through the game, which may complete the game in under an hour and thirty minutes. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Another useful piece of advice. Alright. So, when you... After you complete this cutscene that's going on here, you want to make sure you have as much ammo as possible. Especially if you suck at shooting, because this game, you can only shoot in, um, for the most part, you can only shoot in, um, third person. Which makes it hard to accurately aim. I'm going to see a guy in the crapper, but somehow oh, I didn't take a pants off. God damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Plus, I didn't have the, the budget to make the animation for him pulling up and down his pants, so who knows. This is a fun little uh, thing you can do. And then over here, this vent shows you nothing. I'm going to show you that. And this right here is 12 soul bullets. Now, in this game, the amount, I believe, the amount of bullets you, you can hold increases every time you defeat a certain enemy or a certain boss. Same with the health and what you can hold. But, um, you can hold an unlimited amount of weapon and or items. You just can't hold infinite ammo. We're gonna head this way now. We get quick left here. We're gonna look down here. She's gonna be slightly important later in the game. Not me. And right down here is where the DARPA chief is. Snake. The DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. All right, so when I hit first-person view mode, we are going to have a big, uh, probably 10 minute cutscene to watch this right now. Chief Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. 
David. The crude launch in uh, What? How did they plan the launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh. You mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's tooth. If they find out Baker's password. Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. 
Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to the sound of pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. This is where things get strange, Are people. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Action. What is it? One thing the guard cannot hear him freaking moaning in pain, and there's only one door separating him. Worst freaking guard ever in this game. Couldn't even figure out there was two people in that cell. Who the hell would it, the guard chief be talking to if it wasn't for anyone else? You know, if it wasn't just himself, it was just some kind of weird. Uh, dead. We got our first death, and it wasn't even our fault this time. Not by my gun. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I. I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? That is I told you. The Colonel. Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake. We don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Okay, got a few minutes left. I think I'm gonna let this thing go happen. So if you're looking at the rate, my exaltary you're gonna see that um this girl was beating the absolute shit out of the guard. There's a ration underneath the bed, I'm gonna show you that, but I can't pick it up because my health is not. Lower, lower. So I'm going to equip my ration, my gun. Now, if look at the radar, you can tell exactly where. See, she just. The girl's open the door for me because if I do this, you're going to see that she is. Well, I thought. Is it over here you can see her? Yep, you can see that she's right there. But we don't have another choice but to go out, so. Don't move! My understanding is why he she took everything, including his underwear. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Bitch, what you say? Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> I got one too. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies. Oh, I like this angle right here. Well, it gun look like I've a never boy. shot a person. You know I mean, his hands are so big that this is a gun range. You've taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? We're facing what I consider a sub boss here. Open that door. However, you've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Like when I first played, this took me about like five or six tries to beat these guys. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. All right. Pick up these bullets. What are you waiting for? Shoot. Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot. So now this is basically a two on however many guards they decide to send in. So there's another bullet here. I'm gonna pick that up. Bullets to beat. I full bag to kill all of them. So in case where they drop stuff that might be useful, I think it's more bullets they drop. I don't know if I don't know if they drop the bullets they have a uh, machine gun, but what's those bullets? And right here, nope, this I think it's too far ahead. Right here, they're gonna throw grenades, and if you stand right here against this wall, you don't get hurt from it. And somehow she survived that, I have no idea how. These are the last three guys. I'm also gonna do that and grab the red from the red that they got. And that's the end of this, what I call a sub boss. Thanks for the help. 
we should say thanks. Wait. Not say us. Who are you? You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. That is heavy foreshadowing to like the last like hour to two hours of the game, so try to keep that cutscene in mind if you can. They're following me, creep. Meet one of the bosses. This man is psycho. Nantis. He is the psychic of the fox hunt. Good girl. Just like that. Make one last call, and then I'm going to save, and we are going to stop my this video for today. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Alright, so I kind of lied just a little bit here. We're going to go back in here. We can go to, um, you can see this guy's almost bare ass. I don't think there's anything underneath the bed in here. I could be wrong. I'm not wrong. Alright, and then we can come in here. This bathroom's where that one guy was that we spied on. We grab the bullets that are here. There's bullets here too, but we, they, it's gonna tell me I can't grab them. And that's gonna be it. We're going to come out here and we're going to call a Mei Ling for the first time we're going to save. For you see, I have one or saving here. What's that's up, from Nick? me before trying to get this going. Alright, so my card slot where we're gonna right over that one. Nick, remember what the Gaul said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. So thank you everyone for watching. If you want to see more like comment, subscribe. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.